Okay, so Hero has obviously gotten a ton of support recently, but a deck that I've yet to put on the channel is Neos, and this is my take on Neos for this format. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Spanko, and today I'm excited because I'm going to bring you guys my Neos list for the post-Duelist Nexus format. This deck obviously didn't really get much support in Duelist Nexus. However, this build is essentially going into the next format and getting ready for that. Now, if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel. We do deck profiles, combo videos, do replays, all that good stuff. And you guys are going to get five shorts a week, which means you guys are going to get a little bit of everything. Make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned into all of that. Now, I'm really excited to be getting into this deck profile. I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long. So with that, let's get right into the deck profile. All right, so let's get into the deck profile here. First thing I want to say is you guys really don't want to see me max out this deck. If you guys saw me max out this deck, I didn't want to pull it out of my collection. So you guys are going to see some low rarity budget Neos over here. But Neos is really, really powerful, and I really want to get into it. I think this deck is really, really cool. So starting off, of course, we are playing the one Neos. I think you need to be playing one. I don't want to be playing two. Just because this is kind of like the one brick of your deck, you're always going to be getting it to your hand via your spell cards. So for that reason, you never really want to start off your turn by drawing him. Now, while it's not bad to draw him, typically just don't want to see in your opening hand as he doesn't really do anything on his own for you right you'd rather search him but a card that is really powerful is your spirit of neos so we like playing two spirit of neos spirit of neos of course is really powerful because first of all it's really good in the battle phase randomly shenanigans is pretty cool in that sense but the really cool thing about this card is you can add a polymerization or you can add a speller trap that mentions an elemental hero monsters card name from your deck to your hand and that's like really really powerful because it gives you access to a counter trap that hero never had access to before this is pretty much essentially a spell or trap negate and that's really really powerful because a deck like hero never had negates like that it also just gives you access to a lot of your other spells or traps which is really really powerful as well then we're playing two stratos two shadow mist one liquid soldier and one blaze man so this is your elemental hero lineup and these are just the most powerful cards you guys can be playing i really like two shadow mist i like special summoning the shadow mist funny enough because special summoning the shadow mist gives you access to mask change and i really wanted this deck to be as competitive as possible so to do that i really thought dark law and the mask change line was really really important i know a lot of neos builds aren't playing it but i just think it's way too powerful to not play and of course liquid soldier is really really powerful to get into your ab zero its effect is really powerful as well and then blaze man is really cool because it gets you to poly which is really important getting to poly is one of the most important things in this deck and blaze man what it does for you is it helps you get to poly and play around cards like shifter it being a different attribute is really nice then lastly a card that's not an elemental hero which is a shame that it's not but this card is so powerful in this deck three cross keeper so cross keeper in the hand is really really powerful of course you can send it from your hand or field to the graveyard special summoner element elemental hero or neo spatial from your hand or graveyard which is really nice because it specials your shadows from a graveyard especially your shadow mist which is really really important as well so cross keeper has a really powerful effect in that sense but then it has another effect in the graveyard which is really nice where if you special summon an elemental hero fusion monster you get to draw two cards and then put one of those cards back into your deck so it's really good because it helps you dig deeper into your deck which is really nice it's good consistency then lastly we're playing one aqua dolphin and one grand mole these are the only two neo spatians that you guys need oh my god guys maybe i should have maxed out this deck this deck maxed out would have been crazy but anyways aqua dolphin and grand mole of course really really powerful Powerful, just the best two i think grand mall is really powerful just because it's funny enough the only one that's actually kind of good to have on your field and the battle phase especially is pretty cool but aqua dolphin is the main one that you need i just like playing two names this could be dark panther this could be uh air hummingbird i know people were playing air hummingbird in the main uh, i just think grand mall is kind of like the best one and then lastly we are playing the one arm dragon thunder level 10 the reason for this is because i think arm neos is so powerful in this deck this deck is a deck that otks really really easily and it has a lot of gas right so even if your opponent has one to two negates you can usually push through those negates pretty easily and so for that reason being being able to OTK with your Arm Neos is really, really powerful. And then even if you're not OTKing through Arm Neos, you're going to have the Arm Neos effect, which is really powerful as well. And keep in mind, this deck is 45 cards. I'll tell you guys this right now. The deck is 45 cards in the main. So for that reason, uh, I don't mind playing the one of bricks here because you're not really going to be drawing them in 45 cards. Moving on to the spell cards over here, we are, of course, playing all the power hero spells. So we're playing three A Hero Lives, three E Emergency Call. Yes, we're playing three E Call. E Call is really, really powerful because, again, you guys see, we're not playing the Omni Hero build. It's all elemental heroes, which is really good because this can search your shadows. This can also search your shadow mist, which is really powerful because if you have something like Cross Keeper in hand, having a shadow mist in hand is really powerful with E Call. So E Call is really, really powerful. Then one of the most powerful cards in this deck is three E and Engage Neo Space. This card is insane. So effectively, this card, if you have an elemental 
elemental hero or neo space in your hand you can activate this dump one from your hand dump one from your deck then you're gonna get to search a polymerization and special summon a level five or higher elemental hero monster and the one that you're always going to be wanting to special summon in with that effect is your spirit of neos because then you get the spirit of neos effects off which is really really powerful so engage neo space is really powerful but it's really important to keep in mind that it searches polymerization not only from your deck but it adds it from your graveyard to your hand as well so for that reason it recycles your poly which is really really important and then we're playing the one en shuffle en shuffle is really cool when it comes up it's a card that you can search here and there it's not a card that you necessarily want to be playing multiples of because i feel like this card just requires too much you for you to have like you have to have an elemental hero or a neo space on field then you have to activate this then you also gotta hope it doesn't get ash and then all these other shenanigans it's a really powerful card it's just a card that i don't think you need to be playing three of i think one is perfectly fine and then of course one of the most powerful cards in the deck is three neos fusion neos fusion is absolutely insane giving you access to cards like arm neos which is really really powerful but you also have other neos fusions in your extra deck that you guys will see so neos fusion is really powerful in that sense it's also foolish burial for you which is really really nice and then lastly we're playing the one polymerization and the one miracle fusion of course you're playing one and one miracle fusion at one is all you need poly you also only need one because neo space is always going to be able to get it back from your graveyard for you which is really nice so one poly one miracle fusion and then we are playing three mass change yes you heard it right three mass change i think mass change is way too powerful right like being able to dodge hand traps on your stratos being able to use it for your shadow mist to become a dark law is just way too powerful to not be playing three so i really really think playing three mass change is really really important and then lastly for the hero cards we're playing one protection of the elements this is a card that i was talking about earlier so it's a counter trap and essentially it says when a spell or trap card is activated you banish a face-up elemental hero monster you control until the end phase and then negate the activation if you do destroy that card now it has a second effect including terra firma that's not important because that's not the effect you're going to be using it for why this is really powerful is because you can combo off with absolute zero very very often where essentially if your opponent activates a spell or trap you can activate protection of the elements banish your ab zero your ab zero now has the effect because it was removed from the field destroy all monsters your opponent controls so that's a really cool combo that you could do with this but another really powerful card is favorite contact favorite contact of course is so powerful now in hero in general but in neos it's very very powerful making shiny neos wingman on your opponent's turn is absolutely insane being able to pop two to three cards at a minimum is really really powerful and then lastly we're playing the one rota of course being able to search any of the level four or lower heroes Lastly, for the main deck, we are playing some hand traps. So we're playing three Ash Blossom, three Imperm, and three Droll. I think these are the most important hand traps in today's format. That's why you just got to be playing nine. I feel like playing nine is the perfect number in this deck. Card that I'm going to talk about in the side deck that could be replaced with Droll is kind of just up to personal preference. So we're playing Super Poly in the side deck, and I feel like you can main deck Super Poly inside the Drolls, or you main deck the Drolls inside the Super Polys. Personally, I think main decking the Drolls just makes a lot more sense right now going into Duelist Nexus. However, again, that could change depending on where the format goes. But regardless, I feel like nine hand traps and or board breakers if you play super poly is really really important in this deck Moving on to the extra deck over here, we are playing one of the brand new Flame Wingman Infernal Rage. This is your main way to get into your favorite contact, which is really important. It's also really important because this is how you're also getting into Sunrise. Sunrise being able to search Miracle Fusion. Very, very powerful combo for you. So you want to be definitely playing these two. Then, of course, we're playing the one Wake Up Your Elemental Hero. This card is really insane because it helps you OTK a lot of the time, but it also helps you get a lot of your combo started as well. So I really like one Wake Up Your Elemental Hero. One Ab Zero, of course, like I mentioned earlier, this card is absolutely insane. Then for the neos fusions we're playing the one arm neos like i said like this card going second is absolutely insane it's a card that you always really want to set up so arm neos is really cool brave neos as well is really powerful the reason i actually like setting up brave neos is because it actually lets you use a level four lower effect monster which means you can now foolish for cross keeper essentially with neos fusion so this is a really powerful card for you going first right so that's why we're playing the one brave neos and then of course one shiny neos wingman this is what you're going to be making most of the time off of your favorite contact so shiny neos wingman is really powerful ideally your end boards want to look like ab zero plus sunrise plus face down protector of the elements and then a face down favorite contact and essentially when you go shiny neo swingman you're gonna at least be popping two because neo swingman is a light and then ab zero is a water for you so at least ideally you want to be popping two cards here with the shiny neo swingman plus you'll have the protector of the elements which is a spell trap negate plus you'll have the ab zero destruction as well right so that's kind of what your ideal end boards are going first and then of course for arm neos we're also playing the one cosmo neos because if you're not otking with arm neos then there's a card that you can summon off of the deck that essentially just makes it so that your opponent can't play on the next turn and that is cosmo neos right so that's why we're definitely playing the one cosmo neos and then for the mass change targets we are playing the one dark law the one acid and the one blast acid is really powerful because being able to mass change your ab zero away is also really powerful especially in tobacco decks because not only is ab zero going to be destroying their monsters if they do have any monsters on their board but you get to make acid and acid gets to clear a lot of the back row right so i really do like that mass change line especially mass change also i should mention in the battle phase is really good because if you do have ab zero on board you can attack with ab zero mass change in the battle phase 
make acid and then you attack again right even if you're not using it for their effects it does help you break boards and otk and just do more damage right and then we're playing the one baguska baguska is a card that's kind of cuttable and i'll talk about baguska here but baguska is really good because when you are under shifter or any of these big major floodgate hand traps if you're able to activate your hero lives and summon any level four hero you just want to go baguska sometimes going first if you just sit on this a lot of decks can't play around it so sometimes you can just sit on a baguska and that's going to be your turn one and that's more than enough sometimes right and then of course like i said we are playing super poly in the side deck so some really cool super poly targets are your elemental hero squareo this card is really powerful of course being able to super poly into this is really nice one starving venom and one garura but i do want to mention that uh these cards are interchangeable so i want to mention starving venom and garura specifically this is 15 right here right so let's get rid of these cards because i feel like these cards are cards that you're 100 going to be playing but before we move on actually i do want to mention one thing before i forget we're not playing grand neos we're not playing aqua neos guys i don't know why people play those it just takes up cards in your extra deck and it makes no sense keep in mind ian engage neo space locks you into fusions so sometimes it's harder to make baguska if you're using ian engage neo space but that's why you're playing all these fusions and they're the important ones aqua neos and grand neos don't really do much for you but i do want to mention these two cards so these two cards are interchangeable of course it depends on kind of where the format goes mud dragon is another powerful card that you guys can play draco request is another powerful card against mana diem and some other decks so i do want to say that you have two spots essentially to pick two super poly targets where you think it's just the best um again dune is just coming out right now duelist nexus and it kind of depends on where the format goes super poly i think is going to be really good into next format so that's why it kind of just depends on which two of these four you want to play but just play to any two of these four and you should be fine and then moving on to this side deck, I will say that side deck is always going to be up to personal preference, and it depends on what your locals is looking right, right? If your locals is a bunch of back row players, you want to play a bunch of back row hate. If your locals is a bunch of combo players, cash throw players, sprite players, you want to play hate for that. But I'm just showing you guys a quick generic side deck that I like to be playing. So Harpy's Feather Duster as well as three Cosmic Cyclone. I think this deck struggles the most against back row. So that's why I like playing these four cards. You can always side them in and then side out some of your hand traps that might not be as important. And then another card that I really like is three Super Poly. I think Super Poly is just so broken in today's form. Format. so you got to be playing super poly no matter what the targets are that you choose super poly is just really really powerful then i'm playing two triple tactics talent this card is also really good when you're going first into games two or games three uh your opponent might have hand traps cards like droll and lock and whatnot ttt can become really powerful for that it's also really good going second because if your opponent does activate any effects which most of the time they will be you can use this for the change of heart effect and then use it to help you otk right so ttt is really powerful another card that i really like going first or second is two book of moon book of moon is really really good it's a card that i was actually playing three of but i decided to cut one for another card that i'll show you guys later but book of moon is good going first second especially into kosh it's really really powerful three rivalry rivalry of course when you're going first is so so powerful all your monsters are warriors so this is never going to lock you out and a lot of the time it's really good into a lot of matchups so three rivalry and then the last card i'm playing is the one air hummingbird air hummingbird is really really powerful when you're going into time and you know you're going into game three because you can summon this off of a card like your ian shuffle and then you're going to be able to gain life points and this is kind of how you can win in game three if you're going into time this is kind of like a spicy card that i decided to play you don't actually have to play this you can play a third book of moon or a third triple tactics talent but i actually thought this was kind of spicy though that's why i decided to play it here but this is kind of like my tech card for when you're going into time so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy that is my take on neos for the post duelist nexus format i think this deck is really really cool and i think it has a really good matchup against a lot of decks again being able to set up very simplistic boards but they're very very powerful boards and if you are forced to go second this deck can otk like super easily shining neo swingman wake up your elemental hero Hero, it's not that hard to OTK, which is absolutely insane. Now, if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel. We do deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays, all that good stuff. You'll catch it right here on the channel. So make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.